that something's eating my plant they have signs of pests on them with my monstera edisonia i basically took the whole pot i smacked it on the side pop, 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 banged it on the table a couple aphids dropped out of the pot so that's pretty alarming this is my first time using insecticide so i really don't know what to expect i just hope that it doesn't kill my plants at the end of the day so i've heard again and again from houseplant owners that dealing with pests is really normal since they don't have natural predators from the wild what i did was that i bought the insecticide from the store i sprayed them down today hopefully it works
after being inspired by a couple YouTube videos that I watch where they grew their own sprouts. Um, I'm gonna attempt it and see what happens. So most of the videos showed that they used a big mason jar with a um, lid that comes with a mash so when you drain the seeds it catches it but since I don't have that I'm gonna use what I have um, and just grow them in a simple container that I've prepped with a napkin so I'm gonna keep damp during the duration of the sprouting but before I can do that I need to soak the seeds in water I don't think I've ever had alfalfa but something new to try and experiment with so what I have here is the seeds that's been soaking for a couple hours now you can tell because the water is turning yellow. Apparently it's really good to water your houseplants with this water. I'm definitely gonna keep it after I strain the seeds. My plan is to soak it for about seven to eight hours and once that's done I'm going to drain the water and separate the seeds, place them into the container. Um, every day I'm gonna make sure that napkin is um, moist enough so that the seeds can germinate and grow and sprout. <laughs> I remember doing this back when I was in elementary school but instead of alfalfa seeds, we use mung bean seeds. They are so resilient that you can grow them in any conditions. As long as they have sufficient moisture, you can grow them in so cotton or napkin. Since it's my first time trying alfalfa seed, I'm going to make sure I follow the instructions to the T so I don't mess this up. So I'm gonna give you an update in the next vlog because I have to upload this vlog tomorrow. It won't take too long, about a week to sprout and harvest. So I'm really excited to see how this goes and if this is a success, I'm probably gonna get a lot more seeds to grow and there's actually a lot of study on growing microgreens at home that has tremendous amount of nutrients so it's officially been more than over seven hours I'm gonna drain the water and I'm going to transfer it into this container that I prepared with a paper towel that I'm going to moisten with some of the um, water in here. You can tell <laughs> it turned quite yellow over flowers. This water is really good for your house plants, uh, just in case you want to save it, which is what I'm going to do right now. I am going to transfer it into my watering can just so I can save it for my house plants. Hopefully, none of the seeds get dropped in there. Whoops, out of frame. this directly into the container hopefully it comes out it's already a little stuck just gonna use the chopstick perfect some of them are pretty stuck in here Oops. I find that using a spoon didn't help because it didn't fit the opening of my bottle so I just used a knife. Nice. Ta-da! They're all in here. What I'm gonna do from this point onward, I'm going to make sure that I spray some water into the toilet paper every single day just so it stays moistened. I'm gonna use the cover, sort of cover it just so it creates some humidity but also make sure that I have a little bit of a gap just so it has airway. So yeah, that's it! <laughs> I will keep you posted on the growth on my next vlog. Hopefully this works out but that's, that's it. That's all you need to do. I am going to place it right here. Even though you're growing seeds at home, it still needs a little bit of a sunlight. I have a grow light up here directly shining down, so hopefully it gets sufficient light to grow. 